This is the Transformers Generations Titans Return Voyager class broadside with Blunderbuss as his Titan Master or Headmaster companion. So here he is, figures part of the fourth wave of these Voyager class figures for the new Titans Return series of Transformers from the Transformers Generations line. So officially, transformation for robot mode is this way. You push this button. It puts up his collar. And the figure kind of feels like it's an Alpha Trion mold that's just been heavily redecoed. The feet, I suppose, give it away. Uh, it, it's a heavy redeco, but it, it does derive a lot of a transformation, not a lot, but several transformations from Alpha Trion. But they are distinct, separate molds, definitely a new mold, I think, for the Titans Return line. Uh, and one that I've been very curious to find out how it's going to fare. And a lot of you might be speculating, why is this guy a Voyager class? And Sky Shadow, why is it a leader class? It seems like Sky, Sh Sky Shadow should have been a Voyager class. And this guy, because he's an aircraft carrier, should have been a leader class. But I think they were going, Sky Shadow was like a different mold. And then this one was, they were trying to make more money out of the Alpha Trion, Astro Train mold, whatever. I don't know. So it comes with a transparent gun, which can also act as like a, a gun turret for... Uh, blunderbuss he also comes with these jets which i've not taken out because i don't feel the need to you can peg those on on jet mode on the wings and on his uh, uh deck for the aircraft care mode mode uh mode which i can probably show later but i'm not gonna take that off it also comes with a trading card or a collector card standard set of instructions and his packaging that's it okay so talking about the figure he does look squat he does look small uh, but these standard Voyager class height just under seven inches and I think I, I never had the old broadside toy I thought it was much bigger so Hasbro decided to just shrink him and come up with a transformer that could transform into a jet and a helicarrier at the same helicarrier an aircraft carrier at the same time but out of scale not too bad the colors uh, at first uh, when i saw pictures of this one on the internet i was like oh man those are gaudy colors they're not gonna work and i opening him up seeing him up close in person it actually works uh, i'm sure takara is gonna have a better i know i'm so biased with the takara colors but hasbro seems to make their colors more like kitty toys colors so whatever uh, i'm glad they put stickers on him they really make the figure pop there's some stickers here stickers so really nice and the, the good thing about it is i we don't we don't have to put these stickers on they've been placed for us so less pain articulation for the figure you can swivel his arms he's got in and out hinge for the bicep swivel elbow ball hinge elbow in and out wrist because of transformation no waist articulation because of what's going on in the whole body to support the whole robot ball hinge hips thigh swivel hinge knee and some foot articulation because of transformation so color wise uh, could have been a lot more serious i mean could have been better and less sharp but it's okay i didn't think it, it didn't turn out as bad as it as i thought it would be in the pictures sculpt wise i'm liking it could have been bigger but as it is it's pretty cool uh articulation yeah okay so here is blunderbuss uh, you'd expect that no paint but different colors of plastic um probably see him like this first says so we're transforming this guy into aircraft carrier mode so to do that collapse these and put these up that you can already see the jet whoa some pegs up there Go ahead and fold the arms. You can, you know, even without the instruction, you can already infer what's going to happen with this one. And the parts just flip out and they kind of just collapse in and cover the whole figure. 
So this is the stand. These are the stands for the aircraft carrier. So that you can display him standing up as though he's floating. Give me a sec. I will. Um, this tab needs to tab somewhere here. And that's the notch right there. And it sort of just folds closer to the body like that. And you tab it in. Same thing on the other side. Where is that? Oh, there. And you tab in the wing or the plank or the gangway for the aircraft carrier. That's the main body of the aircraft, ca aircraft carrier. And you're probably looking for the bridge. It's a pretty cool transformation. Ta-da! <laughs> and that's the aircraft carrier. And you can peg the jets one at a time if you want on it. And this one can be pegged here. And again, you can put blunderbuss right there. Or you can make him captain of the bridge or admiral, whatever. And uh, just flip this open like that. Not bad. sit as captain of the bridge so pretty neat um, small yes but I do like the way he reaches this point in terms of transformation it works as a small aircraft carrier okay now turn him into a jet fold these back just fold this flap Keep the nose cone here instead of folding the entire assembly out. Just fold these. Like that. Flip out the wings. Put these back. Oh, sorry. Just leave it there for now. Yeah. Okay, these. Go ahead and fold. Like that, like that. That. These will form the tail fins. Uh, and these I thought were a little bit forced. This rear section of the jet kind of feels forced. It doesn't look aerodynamic. It just feels like a clunk of... There's a tab here on his crotch piece. You tab it right there. And the inner thigh. Sorry, fold that back. Back. Same thing on the other side. And this feels forced. That's the rear part of the jet. It's supposed to be the thrusters. And it looks so bulky. And I detach these. It's it's interesting that the, there are pieces like this one. You see, it looks like they're missile launchers of the aircraft carrier or of the plane. But they only appear in robot mode. They don't have any significant use in both alt modes. So tab in the arms. This one and the and, and you will immediately notice that the the rear part of the jet is super clunky. Sorry, you didn't have to fold this down, my bad. And the jet like that. And then again the peg holes, you can just peg the planes one at a time on them, which is weird. Small planes on a big plane, that's just ridiculous. Fold these. Mm, no landing gear. Um, yeah, that's, that's it. Uh, that's the jet. Uh, you can plug this one here and then have him sit here. Or, which is obvious, this is the cool bit about this jet mode. Really a working canopy. And it works. Yeah. So, not too bad. Um... It's not exactly a wow toy. I think it works. Um, I think it's a cool idea to have a jet turning into a, a, an aircraft carrier as well as a robot mode. That's even though it's small, I think the whole engineering thing works. Could have been better if it were a leader class. So it's gonna get an eight and a half out of ten, maybe an eight out of ten for me. Uh, it's not as solid a figure as I hope as I had hoped it would be. Uh, but nevertheless, it's a nice attempt to bring back uh, one of the, uh, I think, uh, one of the more important characters during his time, Broadside, which I've never had, and to give him an updated form, 
is not that bad. So good enough, um, but it won't get a perfect score from me. So there you go, folks. Hope you enjoyed this little video review. This has been the Transformers Generations Titans Return Voyager class broadside with Blunderbuss. Thanks for watching.